Let me tell you what the minimum gear requirements are for Armory. I'll also give you an ideal loadout whenever you're ready to spend a bit more. And I'll even tell you a secret in how to buy these items even cheaper. So watch the whole video. Bots in Armory use a minimum of level 3 bullets and some use level 4. Enemy players also carry T4 gear in above, unless they're absolute demons doing T1 vest challenges or something. Anyway, more often than not, everyone's wearing T4 in above. With that being said, you need a minimum of T4 vest and T4 helmet with a face shield. That's the absolute minimum. But which ones are the best ones though? Look, first of all, obviously the better the gear, the higher chance of success. But we're not all rich. So here are two types of gear loadout you need to bring in every armory raid minimum gear and ideal gear Minimum gear. Helmet. Grab this level 4 IND tack helmet over here. This one's level 4 with an option to wear headsets as well as a face mask. Face masks are incredibly important and helps you survive longer. The only level 4 mask that can be equipped on a level 4 helmet is this one. And this mask can only be equipped on these two helmets which blocks your ears meaning you can't wear a headset and your general hearing is poor. And as a beginner in this map or even an experienced player, headsets are so important for armory. Anyway, you can still get one tap if you get shot in the face with a bot or a player using t4 ammo so try not to block bullets with your face a level 3 mask can still help you with things like if someone throws a grenade at you and shrapnel hits your face the mask can and will save you so tap this helmet tap link search and buy the mask Headset. Grab this Commander A headset. This offers strong noise reduction which helps makes footsteps sound even clearer and it has a decent mid sound pickup range. Vest. Grab this SEK Fortress armor. This is personally my favorite one as it's the only T4 armor that doesn't have a movement speed penalty. And in the armory, ideally you'll want to move swiftly especially when you're inside a bunker. Weapon. I always only carry one gun, so I have one free space for when I loot guns in the map. And which gun to bring? Honestly, this is all down to your playstyle. However, I wouldn't recommend only carrying an SMG or any close range weapons until you're super comfortable with the map. Assault rifles will help you cover both close range fights as well as mid to long range. The most important thing here is your bullet choice. You need level 4 bullets at the very least and even then, you'll still have a bit of trouble clearing the place out if you're inexperienced or have bad aim. Like I said, this is all personal choice, but my recommendation is the Foul Assault Rifle with level 4 M80 bullets. These bullets are not only much cheaper than the level 4 bullets that you use with the guns like M4 and AK-102, but they also pack a punch. The only problem is the gun itself though. You can't spray and pray with it for too long as the recoil is absolutely wild. It's more of a short burst of 2-3 shots kind of gun, but when you hit your shots, this gun slaps. I equip a 50 round mag on a Foul and one spare 50 round mag in my rig. 30 round mags for spare isn't bad either, it just means you'll need to refill more often. Then I keep 120 spare rounds in my safe. You can bring more bullets if you want, but just make sure you keep them in a safe as they're very expensive. Backpack. Bring this XA4 TAC backpack from Dick Vinson for about 10k which offers 32 slots. Supplies. I carry one AP painkiller. Six uses, lasts for three and a half minutes a pop, and are way cheaper than the strong painkillers. Two standard surgical packs, yup, as a beginner, you'll need to fix your bones a lot. One E3 med kit for HP heals, one 1000 med kit, which is great for fixing bleed and HP damage at the same time, two Hung Yangs for energy, as you'll get hungry often because you're always gonna be running around with heavy loot, and it also gives a nice 30 hydration, and one Thermo for hydration. You'll be healing a lot, so you need to look after your thirst well. Hung Yang and Thermo combo is legit a lifesaver. Throwables. Throwables are the game changers in Arena Breakout. They are incredibly deadly and can kill multiple enemies with one good throw. Grenades will also literally one shot anything that moves if you hit him right. Bring two MK grenades to help you clear a room or push someone camping inside. One small grenade which is always nice for extracts and sometimes pushing through doorways to avoid getting lasered by someone pre-aiming down it. Two tear gas to block doors with and completely keep bots out. Beware though, players might still rush past the gas and push you even with tear gas out. Alright, moving on. Ideal gear. 
These are gear that I feel comfortable with. A set that I can trust. They are pricier but ends up costing less when you survive more raids with them. Basically, a loadout that won't make me go broke if I lose them in one raid. Helmet. Grab this AN95 Heavy Blast Helmet. Level 5 helmet with a built-in strong noise reduction headset and it allows you to equip a level 4 mask that helps prevent you ever getting one-shotted in the face by a level 3 bullet. Vest. I actually use an armored rig. Defender M4. A level 5 vest with a big 20 slot rig. It also provides you with lower stomach protection. This is great for both cost and tanking a lot of shots. It does have a minus 12% movement speed though, but I got a fix for that later. Weapon. I use FAL and the M80 bullets with this loadout. You can also use the M4A1 or an AK-102 with T4A1 bullets. 60 round mag equipped, 1 spare 60 round mag in the rig, and 120 spare ammo in the safe. Alternatively, you can use the M110 marksman rifle with the M60 two rounds. It even has a decent fire rate. This gun is ridiculous for mid to long range fights. Supplies. Strong painkillers. The longest lasting painkillers with multiple use. One standard first aid kit. This thing is incredible. It heals HP really fast, fixes bleeding, and doesn't affect hydration at all. This will seriously allow you to take so much damage and heal up quickly from it plenty of times. One TMK kit, which fixes destroyed body parts and heals a small amount at the same time. Can be used for up to 8 times. These two alone will heal you for a lot of HP. Just pick up heals in the map if you need more. Region injection. This will heal you over time. Great to use just before you get into gunfights, before you escape. Basically, anytime you need to heal that little HP but cannot because you're busy shooting or running away. This can help you get them 1 HP clutches. These next two items are incredibly important for heavy looting raids. It's a must-have combo. 1 or 2 intramuscular injections. This increases your weight limit, meaning you can sprint again when you're fully overweight at 70 kg. And 1 nebulizer. This allows you to run longer and regain stamina faster. It also fixes lung damage from tear gas. Throwables. I like the MK2 grenades for throwing inside rooms before I push. It deals high damage on armor, so I can just run straight in for a quick takeout and just hip fire without being too bothered about which body part to hit. I bring two to four of these. I also bring at least two tear gas, one small grenade, and two offensive grenades. These offensive grenades are awesome because they deal damage even if people are behind the wall. It's literally the most annoying throwable in the game. Just throw it outside a room, someone's camping in, and then push after it explodes. The enemy will be deaf and damaged. Backpack. At this point, bring the biggest one you can afford. Next thing you need to do is watch this guide because you can buy some of these items for up to 50% off.